And so that's just like a big hunk of awesome. That was terrible. Big hunk of awesome, really? So basically, there's two big things I want to talk about. One is uh, networking and how it applies to my business, and the other uh, is fitness stuff. So let me start with the networking stuff, because that's what I've been doing the last few days, uh, and it's been really exciting and really fun and all that. So basically, networking is awesome. I already know just from this week, uh, just from uh, going to a couple of meetings and meeting some new people and setting up... Uh, coffee appointments and stuff like that. I know that's already going to have a positive effect on my business. Because the other part of that that I want to talk about is networking as an introvert. Because I am a big old massive introvert, which sounds funny since I'm doing this video blog where I'm talking to practically the whole world and putting it out there uh, for everyone. Now I'm terrified again. What it really means to be an introvert, um, it doesn't have to mean social awkwardness. It doesn't have to mean uh, social anxiety. It doesn't have to mean being quiet and shy and all that stuff. But really what it means to be an introvert is that social interaction uses up your energy. And what it means to be an extrovert is that social interaction gives you energy. But just because I have to expend energy in order to be social doesn't mean that I can't be friendly and warm and inviting and, inviting, uh, and outgoing and all that kind of stuff. So I want to encourage my introvert friends out there um, that interacting with people doesn't have to suck. It can be pretty cool, even if you're left tired at the end of it. Uh, and it can be extremely valuable and extremely important. Where is the focus? There. Oh. Ah, big problem with having with using a telephoto lens, telephoto-ish lens, wide open. Focus is really tough. Like that. out of focus, in focus, out of focus. Like moving less than a foot. Okay, so the other big thing I want to talk about is my current fitness journey. Um, you know, I've been talking about, I've talked a lot about like working out and, you know, watching what I eat, you know, logging everything in my fitness pal and all that kind of stuff. Um, but today uh, I wanted to like share some actual numbers and share my sort of long-term goals and that kind of thing. One thing to keep in mind um, as I share my numbers uh, is that... I'm short. I am five foot seven, uh, so I am definitely not a tall guy. And you know, if you look at you know my arms and legs, like I have a thin frame as well. Uh, so my weight numbers, because my body is just plain small, uh, my weight numbers are gonna sound pretty dang low. Um, but that's just because I'm a small guy. Taking the week off uh, from strenuous exercise, uh, I spoke about it a few days ago, how uh, I was not able to lift as much, I was not able to push it as hard in my cardio and interval training. Um, so I took the week off to just like foam roll and stretch and relax uh, and, uh, and get more rest. Um, it's been going really well. Uh, my weight loss stopped uh, stalling. I've lost... Um, decent amount of weight this week. I am now 2.2 pounds away from my goal. This morning, uh, I weighed in at 137.2. Uh, my goal is 135. Um, and once I get there, uh, I'm going to increase my caloric intake again, uh, probably just up to maintenance uh, so that I'm not eating enough to start gaining weight again right away, but I'm also going to stop losing weight. Um, and We'll see what happens because, yeah, it's been uh, been tracking seriously on my fitness pal for 
about a month now, maybe. Um, and it's been great, but man, restricting my calories is just, ugh, I want to eat more. I want to put cream in my coffee. You know, my long-term goal is to get to 150 pounds at 10% body fat. Um, and basically what that means is, and, and this is me guessing, I haven't done any like real measurements. Basically, I'll probably need to gain close to 20 pounds of muscle while still eventually losing another five to 10 pounds of fat on top of what I've already lost. So I know like the terms I'm framing this in sound basically like vanity, like, oh, I just wanna put on 20 pounds of muscle and be ripped and blah, blah, blah. But to get there, I'm gonna have to do a lot of good weight lifting. I'm gonna have to add a lot of strength, um, add a lot of muscle, um, which is gonna have just all kinds of great health benefits for me. Um, as I've said numerous times, I have a mild case of brittle bone disease um, and by lifting weights, um, you know, it basically, it strengthens my body. Um, weightlifting is good for your muscles. It's good for your connective tissue. Uh, it's good for your bones. You know, it's basically good for the entire body. Like, yeah, yes, there is definitely the part where, yeah, I want to look good, but the main goal is keeping myself healthy and fit uh, as I enter my middle ages, uh, as I approach 40. So that's really what's behind my goal. And the main reason I'm setting the goal is to actually have a goal to work towards. Uh, if I didn't have the specific goal, um, the specific measurable goal that I was working towards, probably just give up. You know, I wouldn't have anything I'm working towards. Uh, so who cares? I'm doing it just to do it. And you know what? I could be sleeping in instead of doing this. I could be, uh, I could be eating that ice cream. Uh, can you tell that I want ice cream? I, I do. I really want ice cream. I really want that new, uh, I want to try that new bluebell that just came out. Uh, the cookie dough cookies and cream. That sounds incredible. So the other big thing, um, regarding health and working out and all that kind of stuff that has me really excited is there have been a number of studies that have come out recently uh, that have shown that lifting higher weights, uh, I'm sorry, lifting lower weights with higher reps is just as effective at building muscle as lower, as lower reps and higher weights. I had resigned myself that I was never going to be able to really put on uh, good strength and good size because to do that, you have to lift heavy, you know? But, uh, so all these studies coming out saying that, no, you can build a uh, serious size and serious strength with lighter weights is an answer to a prayer, really. Like, it's just such great news for me that I'm just over the moon that, yes, I can lift in a way that is safe for my body that will still allow me to reach the results that I want to get to. So that is fantastic. In fact, a recent study that I heard about on the Ben Greenfield Fitness Podcast says that you can actually build strength and size by flexing. Like literally like going like that and like tensing your muscles and then letting them go and then tensing your muscles. Like literally flexing can build strength and size. And not just like a little bit like, oh, it's better than nothing. Like the study showed that the people who did a flexing routine showed the same muscle gain as the people doing a weightlifting routine. Like that's crazy. That's awesome. So yeah, I will put a link in the description below uh, directly to the podcast episode so you can uh, listen to it. It's in the uh, news flashes towards the beginning of the episode. So between... Uh, feeling good from all the resting and breaking through the weight loss plateau um, between just study after study recently showing that uh, I'll be able to reach my goals uh, given the limits, uh, given the le medical limitations that I have. I'm just like over the moon um, about my future health uh, and fitness potential.